Hi, I'm Kevin Sikowski. I'm Principal Investigator of Globe Mission Earth. Globe Mission Earth is a NASA funded project to bring Globe and NASA assets into the schools to help students create projects and then present those projects. We're working with high need school districts and getting kids to do authentic science, working with scientists, having teacher, scientist, and student partnerships. To learn more than we would do in a normal classroom. Well, we get a more hands-on experience. Learn more about science and other people's perspective. Globe Mission Earth is about kids. It's about getting students outside to investigate the world around them, to have them collect data and learn how to do real hands-on science. To accomplish this, each year, members of the Globe Mission Earth team train K-12 through teachers to become certified in various Globe investigative protocols. At the end of their project, they were telling me, you know, it's interesting because now we have all of these questions and we came up with one answer but now it's just exploded into a million different things that we want to know. And is that okay? And of course I said, absolutely that's okay. Our research project was titled Influence of Select Atmospheric Data on Winter Ground Level Aerosol Measurements Using Handheld Photometers. The purpose of our research was to see if there's any correlation between AOT, which is aerosol optical thickness, and any of the atmospheric parameters or latitude. Soil temperature and air temperature. Our soil temperature sensor is in the bottom of this pipe here. It's just a simple thermistor. So they can hear you in here. Hi, my name is Kale Jones. Up, up in the air and up in the air, aerosols and clouds is my project. Um, we wanted to know if we got more aerosols at recess time or in the morning, and and we figured out that we got more. More, re uh, more aerosols at recess and less aerosols in the morning because at recess people are running all around and kicking up dirt, but in the morning people aren't really running all around and kicking up stuff. Science isn't about that aha moment, it's about those small little moments of curiosity, and so they definitely have that now. They're inspired, they're changed. 